Welcome back, college baseball fans. I'm Monty Taylor. Today, we're going to be previewing the Cape Cod semifinals. The games will start today at 4. It is a best-of-three series, meaning they will play today and tomorrow, and then Friday if necessary. We've got four great teams still in it with lots of premier college baseball talent. And we're going to just get started with the first matchup, which is going to be the Harwich Mariners and the YD Red Sox. Now, the YD Red Sox, they were the best team in the league all year round. They are the favorites, but they had a little trouble in the first game. Uh, the one winner-take-all game yesterday when it was eight teams in the playoffs, they had to take on the four-seed Orleans Firebirds, who barely snuck into the playoffs ahead of the Brewster Whitecaps. But an outstanding start from Georgia Tech's Carson Ballard and then shut down innings from the bullpen. YD just does just enough to win one nothing to advance. A little bit of a scare put into them by the Orleans Firebirds, whose season is now over. Harwich, on the other hand, they took care of business, and they upset the Chatham A's. We're talking about Harwich. We're talking about YD. And the big thing for YD, we don't know who they're starting today. But we know that Harwich is going to go with Elon's Justin Mitrovich. He's going to face somebody from YD after Carson Bollard went yesterday against Orleans. Um, but YD, they've got the offense. Uh, they've got three big bats in the middle of their lineup, um, all big-time guys. You've got Ethan Petrie, who was named the MVP of the league today. He hit 360 this season. Seven doubles, 11 home runs, drove in 25 RBIs. He is obviously the big bat. He had a double uh, in, in yesterday's game against Orleans. But then you've still got Anthony Martinez from UC Irvine, who, who is a Team USA alum. Um, he hit 278 with uh, with 17 RBIs. He's got a 15-9 to walk-to-K ratio. So he's walking more than he's striking out. Big, big bat in that lineup. But Easton Carmichael, the catcher from Oklahoma, he's having a monster uh, monster summer. I think kind of under the radar with the way some of the other bats in the, the YD lineup have been playing. He's got 10 doubles on the season, five home runs. Absolutely lethal. Those three bats in the middle of the YD order are going to probably be the difference. But a guy to, under the radar that you might want to look at is Gavin Gallagher. Now, he didn't start the game against Orleans yesterday. He did finish it. But he's not having necessarily the best summer on the Cape, but he's driving in a lot of runs, and he's had some clutch hitting. The North Carolina Tar Heel could be a game changer today against Harwich in game one. Now, on the other side, Harwich, they've had a little bit of an interesting season. They started 9-6, and six, uh, and then things kind of fell off the rails. They did get things steadied up. Um, and and come into the playoffs a little bit better than they were, but they've still not quite where they wanted to be. But they've got some good bats there, led by two New England guys. That's Michael Anderson of Rhode Island and Cam Maldonado of Northeastern. Those two guys are going to be their clutch hitters, but watch out for Cade Curland of Florida. He had a really good game yesterday and ultimately made the difference for Harwich in their win late and, and he could be getting hot, which could mean big things for Harwich. So, moving along to game two, sorry, matchup two. It'll be game one for matchup number two. We've got the defending uh, Cape Cod champions, the Braves, two-time league champions, defending champions. They come in as the four seed. They're going to be facing Katuit after Bourne upset Wareham yesterday. It's good things. Uh, Katuit, they've got the league's batting champion in California's Jaron Avicula. They've got a really good guy uh, who's really gotten hot as of late. Matt Klein of Louisville, he didn't quite qualify for the batting race, but if he had, he would have finished third with a 375 batting average. And then we got to talk about Indiana's Devin Taylor. He's having a really good summer on the Cape, 296. Five home runs, 16 RBIs. Those three guys are what you have to look for, for from Katuit, although they're going to mainly depend on their pitching. But Bourne on the other side, I don't know how they finished fourth, but they have a legit roster. Somebody to think about is Tristan Bassetta of Clemson. He's had a really, really hot 
a uh, couple of weeks. He's dangerous, can hit the home run any time of the game, but you're really going to be looking at Ethan Conrad to set the table. He's a transfer going into Wake Forest this year. He's got 19 stolen bases, and he finished second in the batting race. So you got your top two guys in the batting race, top three if Matt Klein had qualified. But then you've also got Vanderbilt's Braden Holcomb, who's who's had some really big hits over the last couple of weeks, nine extra base hits on the season. And then you've got Chris Stanfield. He's a transfer from Auburn to LSU. He had a big game yesterday hitting for a home run in their win uh, over, you know, in their big win. So you got to look out for those teams, but it's going to be a really fascinating thing. You got also like Garrett Michelle of Bourne. Um, it's going to be really, really exciting to see how these two teams fight for a chance to get to the, to the championship. My prediction is I think YD is going to win in three. Uh, I wanted to put them winning in two. They did take four of five from Harwich this season with Harwich's lone win coming all the way back on, I believe, June 17th. Whereas Katuit and Bourne, they're definitely going three games. I think Bourne's going to edge them. Um, Bourne's just been really hot lately, and I think they're going to be playing YD for a chance to win their third straight title. I really, really like YD, so I have YD winning the whole thing, but it's baseball. Who knows? But check it out. All, all the games will be on Cape League TV starting today at 4. Um, if you're missing college baseball, you shouldn't be because this is still some premier talent. I just mentioned the guys – uh, names who are playing lots of big names still in there. Ethan Petrie, congratulations on the MVP. Um, I am going to try and do another preview video perhaps tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but for now, check out the Cape Cod League.